Yeah, you can see the lights in my glasses because let's start at the beginning. It's the Saturday wrap for Saturday, the 23rd of July, 2022 time. It's about quarter to 11. Is there a beer involved? Um, uh, yes. OK, so um, Stuart Brewing. Brewed for Littles. Had it off Dean in work. Thank you, Dean. Much appreciated. Any IPA Galaxy Amarillo. It's not really, I'll show it to you, a New England IPA. It's a bit too, it's more hazy, however. Okay, so it's fruity, orangey, pine, a little bit sharp, bitter with a nice fruity bitter lingering finish it's a b plus and a bit 3.3 3. as i said not really a new england ipa because it doesn't have that thick juicy consistency but it's okay and it's really good and it's from little so um you can just go and grab it yeah anyway um okay rubs mouth uh, let's have a look back on week ending Saturday the 23rd of July 2022 oh yeah camo for windows iPhone 10s um, the updated version now allows you to recruit a uh, recruit um, record via Windows camera which is good um, still no overlays which is not quite as good but we're getting there anyway um word or phrase of the week climate emergency um sunday was amber warning i think it started late in sunday monday and tuesday amber heat warnings london and the southeast and up through the midlands red warnings it was humid it was hot um, Monday was the hottest for Wales. Tuesday was slightly, I hesitate to use the word cooler because it wasn't, but not quite as hot. Um, everyone in, went into panic mode. Uh, and Tuesday, there were fires all over the place. A lot of them said it was due to the heat. And then a couple of days later, it was due to arson. When the weather gets like this, um, even not caring and not being as conscientious as possible can cause fires and arson has just come out. I don't believe it's a climate emergency. The temperature in our history has gone up and has gone down and will continue to do so. And um, well, we account for 1% of the carbon dioxide in the world. Do what you want to do. It isn't going to make a great deal of difference except in your pocket yeah um recycle good idea less mess um be nice to the world yeah good idea less mess less horribleness far too many people knocking around on the world far too far too far too reduce the amount of people maybe you have less demand and such like don't hear that mentioned <sighs> Also, box um app of the week camo for windows yay um updated doing this i wonder what the sound is like because um a windows recorder does the sound for itself so um we shall see um and a thing of the week i have two of them usb a desk fans don't take much power really effective nice and cooling one in work one at home <sighs> that was the thing um there wasn't much in the way of wind so you would sweat and the sweat would just stay on you moving air that's the way forward really is the way forward <clears throat> so that was the things on the watch and call it and whatever let's let's start our last saturday um, GoDaddy forgot about the domain that I dropped, the BE one, the Belgian one. Um, they wanted the price of it plus 50 quid for a concierge service to try and get it back. 
So I just waited and waited and then in um, incognito mode uh, via the VPN, just checked on it. And last Saturday, it was back for purchase. It was a tenner. I bought it. I have it back. It is now redirected. The only difference is I had to upload the picture from my passport to some Belgian authority to prove who I was, which is entirely fair. It really is. Um, overnight, I washed my duvet from the uh, from the winter. Uh, 13.5. It doesn't have absorb the water, although the water went onto the garden and the tomatoes and. You need water. You really need water. And I saw in the week, the reservoirs, the ones up in the Brecon Beacons, they are extremely low. Very low. We need rain. It's been great today. I have a feeling that it... Well, I know it has rained in places, but, you know, drizzle, spots in the air, that sort of thing. Anyway, um, last Saturday, downloaded OBS Studio. Um, to interface with camo and it worked and it was quite good and I could have done a lot more things with it But I did a recording forgot to set the levels and I siloed um, So in the end that I go to webcam and Logitech capture I'll go back to studio. I like it. I like it a lot Sunday night uh, Sunday night powered down my Synology and my umbral server just in case well they might have been power cuts. And on Wednesday, we had thunderstorms forecast. Yeah. Anyway, powered them back up on Wednesday and everything is fine now. And I've saved a bit of electricity. Probably not much in the way of cost, though, because they're very frugal. Monday was hot. Monday was short stay. Actually, the last couple of weeks has been short stay. And they're much cooler, but my knees are horrible, and my legs are hairy, and I'm rather pasty. You know, what can you do? Um, Tuesday, um, a pack code from three. I had an email from them on Monday saying we can offer you lots of deals. The deals they could offer me weren't anything like the deals I could get from Smarty, which is part of three anyway. Um, long story short, the SIM came after two days. Uh, it's activated but with a new number and the packing is due to happen by five o'clock on Monday. I wanted it to happen yesterday and then I didn't because I'd have been drunk and I would have probably lost the sim or something like that. But um, because it's part of a group, uh, 100 gigs a month plus unlimited everything else for £10.80. That's good. Um, and um, I've noticed there's a lot more 3, 5G knocking around the place, which is just as well because their 4G is hellishly oversubscribed. Hmm, jumped ahead there. Never mind. Okay, um, what else happened? Um, oh, three came back to me and said we can match it, and they couldn't. Hmm, right. Uh, had. Well, I had an email from Apple on Wednesday saying, we are sending you a box to recycle your MacBook Pro. And then another email, your MacBook Air is on the way. And then a text with a tracking code. Although, I haven't looked at it this morning, but up from then up until now, it's still in China. It's supposed to be coming next Thursday. I am really looking forward to it. I'm going to be working from home that day, just so I'm sure when the deliveries happen. Uh, you know, things, and lots of things to be perfectly honest. I have a plan to update on things. Also, mind you, I did this yesterday. Coming on the 28th, Pixel 6a. Um, Thursday you could pre-order it, but um, yeah, yesterday off and um, I'd look on the Argos site because I have an Argos voucher, uh, well, a voucher and a discount code, and um, they said you could pre-order it, so I have, and that's two things coming next Thursday. It's all gold, you know. 
it really is all go. Um, it's just as well because the 3A this month I didn't get any security updates, which makes things all a bit difficult. Okay, uh, also yesterday, um, yeah, going away, having a Beano, a proper mini Beano is rather expensive at the moment. And we're into the children's summer holidays, so prices are going up. And then I had, a, I had another email, this time from Jared, the director, managing director of Gloucester Brewery, and right at the bottom, Oktoberfest. So I booked three days in the Oktoberfest, the 12 till 5 sessions, and five days in the Premier Inn in the Keys. And that is the last day of September and a couple of days into October. So it'll be Oktoberfest in October uh, in Gloucester. I will wear my Oktoberfest hat, which is a traditional German and actual German hat made in Germany. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I will have my MacBook here. I will have much more power knocking around. I will, I'll be drunk again, he says. Right. Okay, so yesterday had the day off. Emergency Beano went through 4K, not video, unique beers as recorded on Untapped. I actually did it in... Um, where was it? Oh, Tiny Rebel. Um, triple Tropica, which is Club Tropicana, triple 10% alcohol by volume. Not a sipper. You can just, well, I wouldn't say neck it back, but you can drink it normally. And the alcohol is well hidden. And it is, it's a corker. It really is. Uh, also popped into the weird dad tap room and brewery. It's probably about... 15 minutes away from Tiny Rebel, maybe 10 if you go quickly. Um, it's a bit small and bijou. Great welcome, good Wi-Fi, lots of beers, need to go back there. Only negative, it doesn't open till 2 o'clock, Friday, Saturday and I think Sunday. If only it opened at 10 o'clock in the morning, I would spend all day there. Um, not expensive either and friendly. And um, live untapped screen, which is rather good. Okay, came home, uh, uh, the bus, well, the app, it was late. It was very late, but it did actually run, which is a minor miracle. And I watched uh, For All Mankind, Mars, Mars is cruel. And I learned this morning, they're gonna do a series four which, yeah, I'm looking forward to. Things are hotting up. I know last week I complained it was all about people and uh, I get fed up with people. It was all about people again, but people are Mars and things and politics. A bit like this country, to be honest. Um, have I got anything else? Oh, oh yeah, this morning, a credit card statement. Three in US dollars micro transactions. One one dollar, two fifty cent ones. I'm waiting for the phone call back from my credit card security people because I'm disputing them. Yeah, great. Thank you very much. Although not really. Anyway, so that was my week. And I enjoyed it. And next week will be, well, it's going to be busy in work and it's going to be a tech week. I need to get the beer in for the tech, because beer and tech, it is the way forward. Okay, thanks, bye-bye, um, and I'm just going to look for, oh, I can't even find the mouse, um, shutting this thing off. Ta-da!